chapter 5. Can please somebody help us to read from verse 1. After the Philistines had captured the ark of God. Wow. They took the ark of God from Ebenezer to Ashidod. Now, they carried the ark into the Dagon temple. And set it beside Dagon. And when the people of Ashot rose early the next day, and there was Dagon falling, what, 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 what? It has it has message translation. Yes, as Pastor Jonathan is reading that, King James, somebody should hold this Bible in a, in his hand or hand. The message translation. I want this version equally to be read. I want you to look at that again. Did what? Did what? Did what? And when the people of Ashdod woke up early in the morrow and the dragon had fallen. I want us to look at that word. We mark it. And the dragon had fallen on his face. The face of Dagon face ground before the ark of the Lord and they took Dagon and put the Dagon back to but, his own place but the following morning but when, the following morning when they rose when they rose, there was Dagon falling on his face on the ground before is, the ark of the Lord. He said, and the Dagon did what again? Fall face down. How many two facing? Second that is time. the second time. <laughs> yes, go ahead. His head and his hand had been broken off. His head. On the, the first one, nothing happened to the head. The second time, what happened to the head? The head and the hand were broken. The head and the hand were actually broken. And, yes. And were lying on the stress hold. It, oh. And it was lying on the stress hold. Only his body remained. Only the body of Dagon remained. That is why to this day neither the priest of Dagon nor any other who enter Dagon's temple at Ashdod, step on the stress hold. Hallelujah. Now, Amen. thank you. Can you help us read your own translation? The message translation First before Sam we go into another phase of prayer. First Samuel chapter 5 from verse 1. Once the Philistine had seized the chest of God, they took it from Ebenezer to Ashdod. They did what? They did what? Once the Philistines had seized the chest I of God. I want to hear about the seize. Spell it. S-E-I-Z-E-D. Seized. They seized what? The chest of God. Did you understand that? They seized the chest of God. In other words, what is it called in the version he read? Ark. Now, the other word for the ark of God is called what? Chest of God. So you need to know that. 
So for men to come around to seize the chest of God is a matter. Did you understand that? Chest of God. Mm. You temper with the chest of God. Go ahead. You must pay for it. They took it from Ebenezer. Yes, yes, The shrine of Dagon. Now, I want to hear that, hear that, hear that. And they brought the chest of God to where? The shrine of Dagon. They took it to shrine of what? Dagon. Chest of God. Yes. And place it alongside the idol of Dagon. And they place it alongside the idol of Dagon. Of Dagon. Next morning. The following morning. When the citizen of Ashdod got up. When the citizen of Ashdod stood, woke up. They were shocked to find Dagon toppled from his place. I, I want us to take note of that again. You mark it in that message translation. It say they were shocked to do what? To find Dagon toppled. To find Dagon. Do what? Toppled. What is the meaning of that? When they say something is toppled, what is the meaning of that? Uh, toppled. As we know, is a general language of falling. When they say toppled. Toppled the government. Overtook. The throne. Toppled. Did you understand that? Mm. Now, that ark, the ark of God, the chest of God did not bring itself. And they brought it to a shrine. Brought it to the shrine. And when they brought it to the shrine, they made their own shrine. Have never experienced that kind of thing in their life. When they woke up in the morning, eh? they were actually thinking that, yes, they brought the chest of God into that temple. Ah, the, children, the children of God. But you see, to their greatest surprise, what happened to them? To you find see, Dagon. They find Dagon toppled from his place. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now, you know why we need to pick all these points? So, we have in this eh? we must take authority. There is unknown God in the land. Did you hear that? There is unknown God in the, in the land that is controlling people's affairs. Are you getting the point now? What did I say? Unknown God in the land. Yes. And you don't even know the unknown God in the land. But they are troubling you. And your names are placed, they are calling your name. This unknown God, they are calling your name. They, are, they try to seize you. Take authority over what God has given unto you. The unknown God. You know what? What really leaves my heart? Man of God. You know what please my heart? Eh? The language there. We are still going to message translation to hear to read. So I can get something. I mean the uh, the easy to read. You know what happened there, Pastor General? You know what he said? He said, and the 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 dagger was what? Toppled. Was toppled. From his place. That means the guy was not prepared.
Did you understand that? That this guy did not prepare for the battle. Where you are going to pray tonight is that you are going to take authority. Because, you see, the ark of God, as they were bringing the ark of God, guess what happened? Say, where they are taking me to? I'm already in charge. Anywhere you are taking me to. So even when they were taking him, taking the arm of God to Yakko's hand, Yakko was just there. And that place was called the temple of Yakko. Isn't it? Eh? But the it's not as soon as the arm of God goes into that place, So he said, he said, he said, and he toppled. He will topple. Yeah. There's something you need to topple. You're hearing me now. And is using that to terrorize people. What happened? You are there to to do what? To talk to him down. Go ahead. Find out on top from his place. Yes. Flat on his face before the chest of God. Flat on his face before what? Before the chest of God. The next morning, they got up. They found the owner of Dagon, the worshippers of Dagon. Dagon, that is their God. On the ground. Not on top of bed. On the ground. Yes? Before the Lord box, see, Pastor Jonathan, please come. Come. Oh, put it, open your hand. This is the chest of God. This is the chest of God. In other words, the act of God. Or the Lord's box. Now this carry the presence of God and the Philistines say if we capture this and take it to Dagon's altar this power will be defiled. 
and we have gotten the Israelites. So there's nothing again. Did you see that? So their target was to capture this. You're not hearing me. The target of the children of God, I mean of the of, of the devil, is to capture you. You are the lost chest. What did I say? You are the lost box. You are the Lord Ark of Covenant. And this is the target. They say, let's capture this. You see, it's a very powerful thing. Do you know thing? And they took this thing to another altar. So that that altar can defile this. And as soon as they brought it, brought this to the altar of, of Dagon, Dagon, as soon as Dagon saw it, I say, power. When he passed power, don't look at me. What kind of trouble be this? I know the wonderful thing. The priests so much depend on their Dagon. So they left, the priest left Dagon to fight this overnight. And the battle started one on one. Did you understand that? And the first slap that the Lord gave to, to Dagon, what happened to him? He said, Look, I am bound to you. And do you know the thing? So for them to confirm. That they don't have power. The dragon does not have power over the chest of God. Early in the morning, they met their God face to the ground. What is the meaning of that? Yoruba, when you are greeting and your face to the ground, what is the meaning of that? That is what? That is higher than you. You better respect yourself. Now, you see what happened now? Now, this guy did not make any noise. Now you have brought me to your house. Instead of me to be greeting you, eh? you are the one submitting to me. That was what you, know, you know why you need to connect to this prayer tonight? Take authority. The authority of God and the power of God is not ordinary. So anywhere they take you to, including your name and any materials that belong to you, that thing will bow. Did you hear that? Now, and this guy first went to the camp. The people, he couldn't stand up. You know how that thing, the strap was much. That the guy could not stand up, Pastor Jonathan. Your enemy will not stand up after, after receiving a torture from God. You see, as you are going this night, there's going to be a dangerous battle in the night. And that battle is for you to capture and conquer. Hear this now. The following, you know, they came around to help, isn't it? Woe unto a man that, that will help his God. When you begin to help a God you are serving, is he it, is it, is it still a God? man will go to his house, when a man will go to his shrine and begin to carry his God and keep it somewhere. And carry and they, and they, and they, the man is already useless. The following morning, they came and helped their God. The guy stood. In other time, he has not received another double slap. When the guy left, they left. The following day again, in the morning, they came. Eh? Share they came. So, you know, they normally monitor you. You don't know. They normally monitor your battle, though. Whether they are, you are losing or they are losing. 
And Pastor Jonathan, what happened when they came the following morning? <laughs> Excuse me. What is the difference between the first bad fight and the second fight? The first one was what? At stage one. That I am above you. Is it it? Then the second one was what? <laughs> the second one was what? A complete knockout. You will knock out your enemy. And you see, you connect to this matter. Knock them out. You, you know one thing, you know one thing, one thing you don't realize and you are just making mistake is that you don't know what you are carrying. You are carrying the chest of God. Do you hear that? When somebody is carrying the chest of God, do you know what you are carrying? And the guy's head went off. His hand equally went off. He became what? No head and no hand. What do we call it in our language when there is no head and no hand? What do we call it? <laughs> do you hear what it says? Do you know what it's called? Okapuni. You know what it's called? Have you ever seen? Okay, you have ever seen tree cut off? Eh? And when they have removed that thing that's remaining on ground, eh? eh? That one to the ground, no thing again, but that one they cut. Eh? It's called Okapuni. Now, you see, when there is no leg and hand, and when you see them walking up and down, they are playing. Even if they carry iron and support it, they are called Okapuni. They are useless. Now, you see, this time around, the second battle was fierce. For God to be with that guy is to tell that himself was trying to resist. You don't know. He was trying to prove that he is the owner of the shrine. I am in charge. So that battle was fierce. You know it was fierce. I say, and the Lord says, let me teach this boy a great lesson. He that have hand. He felt he has hand. And he has eye and nose and mouth that can look at me. Eh? And the Lord just knocked him on the head. Just small knock. And the head just pull out. May the Lord knock your enemy on the head. Amen. Now, excuse me. When they came in the morning, what they met what? The dragon. And how did they meet Dagon? How did they arrange the Dagon back? Help me to reach. Yes. Yes. But the next morning, when the people of Adam got up yes. and found that one on the ground again. Again! Your enemy will keep falling and falling and falling again and again. Yeah. Yes. That one has fallen down before the Lord's holy box. Oh my God. Before the Lord's holy box. Yes. This time, that one's head and hands were broken off. Did you hear that? Dagon's hand and head were broken off. And were lying in the doorstep. And they were, it, you know, this time around, it was lying where? The guy was trying to run away. He couldn't escape it. And your enemy will not escape. I'm serious. If they have tried and tried, you think they have succeeded. I am telling you from this altar of the Lord that the next battle between you and them, they will never escape it. The battle of the enemy concerning your children. The enemy can never
never escape it this time around. And He said, only his body was still in one piece. Not peace of mind, no. In one, in one. Yes. Why, how did they gather it? Why? That is why even today, No, did you hear that now? Now, what is the, your prayer point from this angle now? You are going to position yourself now. What is your prayer point from this angle now? Number one? Yes? What is your prayer point from this angle? Somebody is not talking to me. What is your own personal prayer point now from this angle? Your enemy will fall and will not rise again. Good. Yes? Eh? They will scatter. And there's no way they can gather back because no head and hand. The people that have been assisting to watch in the morning to help, eh? They will, not, they will never come back to that place again. Because lesson has come. There are agents that are assisting somebody to bring you down. Yes? Who has a prayer point here? Who has a prayer point? Do you know that they are working towards your progress so that you will not become something better in the land. The progress that God has given unto you, they are watching you, they are looking at you, and they are plotting evil to bring you down. They are sending agents around to monitor you and to give information to them that we fall and they will never arise again. They will never stand up again. They will never be the same again. Their priests will run away. So what is the prayer for? Tell me your prayer point. Say prayer rally. I have about 45 minutes for this prayer. Then we now go home. What is your prayer point? That anywhere that the enemy has taken my name to, the authority in the name of the Lord Jesus that is inside me, we conquer them. That the source of their power shall be destroyed, shall be broken in pieces. Do you know they have source of power? What gives them power? Incantation. They sit there in one place and they are making incantation. They are making a lot of war. They are declaring. They are saying something about you. They say, this person must not move forward. This person's life will not be the same. If this person's life will... Excuse me. As they are doing that against you in their sacred place, let that particular place help them to go down. Somebody, as we're talking, as somebody is talking about you. They say, "Oh, say he's not in the house." Somebody, is, they say, "Ah, oh, he's not around." I was discussing with my daughter today. She, she just gave me a very dangerous revelation. I, I had 
hardly hear that kind of word. He said, Daddy, I see yes. He said, do you know they are talking about you? He said, they were talking about me and they were calling my name. I said, wait. In a place that I never knew. Say they were calling me and calling me. Say that man of God, they have tried that man of God. They have tried and they have tried him. He said, that your pastor, hold on. I said, and what she didn't even know about. They were discussing it there. Hello? Somebody is saying something evil against you in a strange altar. Will they arise tonight and find that order? The way that Dagon was disgraced. The way Dagon lost his head and hand. Will you arise on your feet tonight and point your finger to every unknown God that is fighting you? The unknown God. Can you fight them? Every unknown God that has erected a strange altar against you, against your destiny. Can you rise and bring it down? Unknown God, in your land. Unknown God in your land. Unknown God in your states. Unknown God in the environment where you live. Can you begin to bring them down? Say, You are no God. You are no God that have erected a strange altar concerning the purpose of God in my life, concerning my destiny. Every unknown God, every unknown altar that have been erected against me, go down and never to arise again. fight the church of God. You can't fight the ark of God. You can't fight the altar of God and survive it. You are the altar of God. You are the ark of God. You are the chest of God. You are the box of God. Whosoever raises his hand and mouths to fight you. Then we go down. Raise your mouths. Raise your tongue. Come against the unknown altar. The visible and invisible altar concerning the work of God in your hand. The Men of God, pick up your mic. Go to the altar there. Pastor Jonathan, go there. Pick your mic. Go there. Takata wakia tu kani ya bakulia. Rata sata kato porokot. Stress your hand to the church. Yata ta 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 sata prakata parekota. Climb the altar. Climb the altar. Climb the altar. Stress your hand to the church. You point your hand to the altar. Every strange altar that will erect to bring you down. Bring it down. The ark of God versus Dakon Takudukula Dakadaku Shakatuka Duka Tedi Bakuda Shakandale Bakatale Bakusha Katale Bakuda Shakantale Bakuda Hibakusha Katale Bakuda Dakadahiba Katusha Katale Bakuda Dakadale Bakusha Katale Bakuda Hibakuda